Okay, so here's just a quick uh, guide on how to overclock your graphics card. Uh, I'm using the GTX 295 at the minute, um, but this will work for pretty much any graphics card. What you want to do is just download MSI, MSI Afterburner, um, and you once you've installed it, you get these options. Basically, your voltage you want to change if you want a, a big overclock because obviously that's going to need more power if it's performing at a higher megahertz but if you just want a basic overclock then you can just look up on the internet what people have achieved or just go up in 5 megahertz increments uh, apply and then use a testing program such as Fermark which will stress test your GPU and um, if you ch test it for about five minutes, if it's check it's stable, if it is stable, then you can increase it some more. And once you've kept it the core voltage at stock, and you've got to the highest you can get with your core clock and the memory clock, then you can start increasing the voltage. Uh, a quick way of doing this is just to Google your graphics card and see what other people have managed to achieve and then copy that, although not all uh, graphics cards are the same even if they are the same model so yours might not be able to achieve what someone else has but that's usually the best way ok so it's a quick overview, You can here's another feature of MSI Afterburn actually if you go to your fan and enable user defined software, automatic fan control you can um, change the way your fan increases its speed this is quite good for when your temps are getting too high with an overclock. You can you can get out of the automatic NVIDIA fan control and create your own curve of how the fan speed will change. Then you just click OK and that will apply. Okay, so and this is what I managed basically I managed to get up to about six hundred and seventy with my core clock and about 1150 with my memory clock on the GTX 295 so that was a quick overview of how to overclock with MSI Afterburner